Hi, this is Tutor Nick P, and this is verb phrase 350. The verb phrase today is to plow through. Okay, and we got four meanings and four uses. Okay, somebody wants a screenshot, do it right now. Let's get right to it. One should note the British spelling of plow, P-L-O-U-G-H, and the American spelling is P-L-O-W. Okay, good. Uh, let's continue. The noun plow is a large farm tool having uh, heavy blades to break soil and cut holes to put seeds in for crops. We also use plow for a snow plow, a large truck that pushes snow off the road. So you kind of need to know this to understand the verb meanings more or why we came about with the verb meanings. Uh, let's, all right, and we got four verb meanings. The first one means to make a path through a heavy substance with or like with a plow. So some sort of large vehicle that's pushing something out of the way. So here's the first one. The sanitation department plowed through the snow to clear the streets after a snowstorm. Yeah, in the U.S., mostly the garbage department, that's the sanitation department, is the one that's responsible for clearing the snow off the streets after snowstorms. Okay, we have another example here. They had to use a tractor to plow through the streets to remove the mud after that mudslide to clear the road. So this is another one. So it's a tractor, it's not a plow, but you're doing the same thing. Okay, uh, number two. To move or progress through with speed or determination. Mm -hmm. uh, during World War II, the German soldiers, you know, remember the Nazis under Hitler, plowed through several countries and quickly conquered, quickly conquered them. Uh, it was later referred to as a Blitzkrieg. Okay, good. And number three here, to read or write or deal with all of something. Okay, good. She plowed through the boxes of documents with the team of lawyers looking for evidence. So she went through them quickly and with a lot of determination. Okay, and the last one here, number four, to slowly eat all of something, especially when there is a lot of it and you are not enjoying it. <laughs> so Joey Chestnut had to plow plow through 76 hot dogs uh, and buns to win Nathan's hot dog eating contest for his sixth straight title. Now, you know, maybe he really even does like hot dogs. I don't know, but I don't think anybody really enjoys eating 76 in a row. So we would say that you plowed through it. You're kind of forcing yourself to eat them. Okay. Anyway, I hope you got it. I hope it's clear. I hope it's very informative. Thank you for your time. Bye-bye.